It's time for me to finally start on the sheetrock on the walls in this edition. Hey everybody, this is Bill with Live Simple, Live Free. And then you watched in previous videos where I finished the hanging the sheetrock on the ceiling. And then I did the uh, wiring in, that goes inside the walls for the doorbell. Now all that, that's, that that's all done, I can finally start on hanging the sheetrock on the walls. Now I also have to frame out a closet that will go right here. One of the things that I don't like about framing out small closets is that it's a, it's a nightmare to sheetrock. Because then you got to cut all of these little pieces of sheetrock for the ceiling and for all the sides and all that. So there's a faster way to do that, and this is what I'm doing. I already sheetrocked the entire ceiling, and now I'm going to sheetrock the entire wall. And I put nailers up here under the sheetrock, and I got this nailer here. After I have all the sheetrock on, then I will frame this closet and, and attach it to this nailer behind the sheetrock. That way, instead of cutting a little piece here, and a little piece here, and a little piece there, and a little piece there. It's just one piece of sheetrock goes all the way through. It saves me a lot of time, a lot of effort. I wish I could do that all over the place, but I generally just do this in like small closets and things like that. Because small closets, you just get these little little ceiling pieces of sheetrock and stuff. So here we go. I'm gonna start on the sheetrock and then frame it. Now, if you watched the video where I sheetrocked the ceiling, I was using that sheetrock lift. And I said that normally I can do it on the walls, but these walls are too short and the sheetrock lift didn't fit. So I was going to show you a way that I can hang the sheetrock on the walls by myself, rather than lifting an eight, a four by eight foot piece and holding it and screwing it. Some of you figured it out. Some of you already knew it. I, use, I just use a laser board. It's very easy. So the sheetrock is four feet. So I measured down four feet and a quarter inch. Just so there's a, there's a little bit of play there. So now I got something I can sit the piece of sheetrock on while I screw it in place. Just like that, easy peasy. Now, it's down about a quarter of an inch, so I just lift it up before I put in the first screw. Let me do it this way. Now I had some questions about why I do double screws like this. 
This gives it enough screws to hold it in place, but by putting them close together, it's easier to spackle because I'll just do one there and one there instead of doing single screws all the way up. It's just easier to spackle that. Now, I know that they make screw guns that are specifically designed to hang sheetrock. It uh, countersinks the screw just the right exact amount without tearing the paper. I don't have one, so I'll just be using my regular battery drill with a regular screw tip in it. It's a little slower. I have to be more careful not to uh, sink the, sh the uh, screws too far. But uh, I'm not going to go buy one of those uh, screw guns just for this one little addition. And if I didn't mention this, I'm sure I would get a comments from dozens of you about, get a screw gun. I'm going to use this. It'll be fine. How's that for a fit? <clears throat> I had to rip about seven inches off the bottom of this because this is less than four feet because it's a short ceiling. I have to lift this up and fill in this gap and leave the gap at the bottom. They actually make a tool that you put on your foot and you stick it under there and then you can jack it up. I used to have one but I don't anymore so I'm just going to use this little crowbar and it works just as well. Just like that. Now you have to think ahead here with some of the framing because this right here is going to be a coat closet. Over here I'm going to nail probably a 1x4 against the wall as a support for the shelf that, uh, and, and we'll hold the, uh, the clothes rod to hang the coats on. There's going to be a wall coming out right here that thick so there's no nailer on this side for that 1x4 that goes across. There's plenty of nailer over here but there's nothing over here. So I'm going to put this nailer right in there so that after the sheetrock is on and I put that 1x4 across there'll be something to attach it to.
Okay, so now I'm now that I'm finished the sheetrock here, I'm ready to start the framing on the wall. And as I mentioned before, because I did the sheetrock first, now I'm going to do the framing for the closet. That way I don't have to cut small pieces of sheetrock for the inside of the closet. This is already done. Ceiling is already done. This is already done. Makes everything much easier. Um, usually you actually lay out the, the walls on the floor, nail them together, and then lift them up into place. But I don't have much room here to do that. And for small walls like this, sometimes it's just as easy just to build them in place. So that's what I'm going to do. So first I have to lay out on the floor where the walls are going to go. Now the ceiling joists run this way, but before I put the sheetrock up, I put a nailer in across here uh, between the joists so I have something to nail this wall to. And then there's one back there in the corner. You hear that ring when I hit this hammer? It drives me nuts. My hammer that I've had for a long time is in Florida and I bought a new one for here. Every once in a while you get a hammer that rings like that when you use it. I've, I've known carpenters to throw them away and buy another one because of that crazy ring. Now, of course, I have another nailer back here that runs the whole length of the wall. This one I cut just a hair short. I'm going to do that much easier to screw it in to, than to nail it because you can't nail it into something that's just bouncing all over the place. And this is the corner post that I built. Now up here the ceiling joists are running this way. So I already have something to nail to here, here, and here, and on the end. So I didn't have to add any nailers here.
Okay, so the closet is done except for one thing, and I'm very frustrated. I have these jacks here for the side of the, of the door. I had to put one more board in right here for the top of the door that's going to go in there. And when I calculated the lumber list, I'm short one. I need one more 2x4. Can't finish it without it. And Elizabeth is out with the car for the rest of the day. So I can't go and get my 2x4 today. Very frustrating that I can't finish it. I'm this close. Oh well. Lots more. <clears throat> I need a lot more left in the car. I got a lot done. Camera's on. Oh, okay. Well, dear one, what do you what do you think? Oh, I can really see what the closet's going to be like now. Yeah. I'll have a nifty little sink right here that'll work for the bathroom and the washing machine. And Let me move the sink over and set it in place so you can see what it's going to look like. Sure. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, cool. <laughs> we'll have places to hang things as well as, um, as uh, places to put mops in. Yeah. For larger pieces, I need to nail that ledger board on here to hold it up for eight foot pieces. But for these short ones, it's not a problem to just hold it in place and screw it up. Going, it's 
looking great, sweetheart. <laughs> Here comes sheep rock. There's something about sheet rock that just starts making it look like the room is, is there. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That wood, that piece of wood holds it up for you. You have so many good ideas for how to be able to work alone. Yep. That's using my head. <laughs> you, are, you are definitely using your head. <laughs> Now I'm standing here by the back door and this piece right here is going to be a real pain because I have three switches here but it's not going to be as difficult as it looks when you first glance at it. Normally when I have three switches next to a door it goes this way but there's not enough room here for three switches so I had to stack them like this. 
So why do I have three switches? Well, this is the one for the room inside here. This one is for the light out back that's above where the, hopefully we're going to eventually put a hot tub. And then this one is for a spotlight up there that goes out onto the patio. So at first I thought about maybe piecing this in, but not only would that be a lot of spackling, that would be a, a pain. But also if I'm putting little pieces in here, there may or may not be any nailers there. So I thought I would just cut the holes in one piece. I think that'll be the easiest way. That was by far the easiest way to mark them. Now right here we should have an inch and a half. Yep. Well, here goes nothing. Look at that. Perfect. So this is our kitchen pantry and when I built this a year ago I did the sheetrock on the side walls inside and out on both sides and then I had one little strip left to put here but I ran out of sheetrock and I didn't want to buy a whole nother piece just for this little bit and I figured oh, I'll do it when I do the rest. <laughs> so here I am now finally being able to actually finish the sheetrock on the pantry. Which is an exciting step. <laughs> All right, so now I'm finally finished hanging the sheetrock on the pantry. So now when I do the mud in the other room, I can do the mud in here as well and finish this up. Okay, so now I'm completely finished hanging the sheetrock and I feel like that was a major accomplishment. I'm so glad to have it done. Notice the closet here. Remember I sheetrocked it before I framed it? And because of that, after I finished the framing, the only wall I had to sheetrock was this one. The back one, this one, and the ceiling were all completely done before I framed it. So it's just so much easier that way. It's just one piece of sheetrock in the closet. So I got sheetrock in the closet and the whole room here is done. Come around here to the corner. 
This is the bathroom. So I'm good to go. So I hope you enjoyed that. The next thing I will be doing, of course, is starting on the spackling, on the mud. I'm actually pretty good at that and I don't mind it. So that'll be in my next uh, edition update video. See you then.